What is up everyone it is Brad here and welcome to Bill in Denmark. Today we are going to the Lego house and we are visiting the Lego Mini Chef restaurant. This is the iconic restaurant that is located inside the Lego house and is such a unique and amazing experience and I can't wait to show it to you guys today. So visiting the Mini Chef restaurant today is my dad and I, and after lining up and putting our name on the wait list, we were given a little buzzer and then just told to wait around in the lobby. After our buzzer was called, we of course headed back to the Mini Chef restaurant to get ready for this incredible experience. We were led to our table in the restaurant, which came complete with a Lego build that contained all of our napkins, cutlery, the Lego bricks that we would need to place the order, as well as a menu. Of course, the table also came with the computer that we would need to place the order, as well as these two really cool salt and pepper Lego shakers. We were also immediately given bread to snack on while we wait. So for those that aren't familiar with this concept, this is a build your meal restaurant. So essentially you get this poly bag of Lego parts here, as well as this menu, and each of the Lego pieces inside the poly bag corresponds to one of the menu items. The menu is divided up here by like protein, as well as a vegetable, some kind of salad, and then some kind of carb. Each adult would select one item from each category, and then the kids would select three items. So instead of ordering from a waiter like at a traditional restaurant, you actually open up the poly bag, dumps the parts out here, and you build your own meal. By using the Lego pieces that corresponds to the meal that you're looking to get, you can build your meal from any combination using this special plate here. This is my dad working to build the meal here. He's just deciding what kind of foods he wants as well as lining up the bricks. Like I said, you can truly line these bricks however you want because the computer will still be able to do its magic. So it gives you a little fun and creative way to actually order your meal. And once you finish building your meal, what you do now is actually select the language on the computer. Obviously, we're going to choose English. And then you take the special tray that you built your meal on and you insert it into the computer. You guys can see they have this really fun animation here that actually lines up with the brick colors. And when you put your tray in, you'll actually be able to see the food that you ordered instantly appear on screen. You then confirm your food selection by clicking the check mark on the screen and it adds it to your cart. Now you're actually able to take the tray back out, disassemble your bricks, which you are able to take home and rebuild for any future orders that you want to add. For example, I'll need to add my order because I'm also eating. I pretty much knew exactly what I wanted to order, so I was able to build mine up pretty fast. And because getting an exclusive Lego minifigure is more important to me than food, I decided I would go with the kids meal. So I actually only ordered three items and included the yellow brick instead. And you guys will see what that exclusive minifigure looks like shortly. So as you guys can see, I put it in the computer here. It says gift instead of the other items. And then I also sent mine off to the kitchen as well. When you're ready to officially send your order you click the cart here you get one last chance to review it all and then it is sent the computer then plays this really cool animation where it's all the Lego minifigures that begin prepping your food it's really neat because a lot of the things and a lot of the items in this kitchen are actually made of Lego bricks and it's pretty fun to watch this the animation then actually incorporates the Lego builds that you made for your food so like those are the exact ones that we put in there and you guys can see you can follow along through the animation where they have an entire process you know quality inspection and it's really really cool very very interactive to see the build that you actually just did all on screen here and gave you something to look at while you waited for your food once the order was officially placed the computer shut off and you pretty much just enjoyed the wait like you would at any other restaurant when it was almost time for your food to come though the computer did pop back up and a new animation began this one had the lego minifigures loading up your food into the special lego delivery boxes this is where you could see the color for the first time so ours were going to be green and basically it just showed the whole process from behind the scenes how it packed your meal all the way to getting it out on the conveyor belt when you're watching the animation at this point that means you pretty much know it's time to go and collect your food so head on over to the conveyor belt which is on the other side of the restaurant and watch it emerge so this is the conveyor belt that I have been referring to here on the other side of the restaurant. This is of course where all the meals do come from the back kitchen area where you just saw in the animation and they come down this wall on a really cool conveyor belt, which is just really, really neat and just a totally cool experience. You guys can see from the top left corner here, my green boxes have actually started to arrive, which is really cool. So these are the meals and you just slowly wait for them to come down. And it's really cool to see this, but it definitely takes a while. So these are the two robots that actually pass out your meals. They're really cool because they are very brick bait still, like they look really neat. And then your meal actually stops and the robot uses the arms to further push it down the conveyor belt so you can pick it up. There is a label here explaining what table is on it. I was table 21 with my dad so you guys can see that these are our meals. And then you just pick up the entire Lego box. Here is my package here which I'm really excited about. So it can went to the all the way to the far one as you guys can see and then the robot pushes it out and allows me to pick it up. My 
dad and I then brought our boxes back over to the table and got ready for the unboxing experience. So my dad went first here. You start the unboxing experience by taking off the lid and you guys can just see, not only was this a really cool experience, but the food actually looks super delicious. But you guys can just see his salad, his vegetable, his meat, and of course the potatoes. Now it is my turn for the unboxing experience. You guys can see I also got a salad and a carb. And then when I take my bin off, you'll actually be able to see I got the exclusive Lego house, Lego minifigure, as well as two meatballs. This has just been the most unique experience that I've ever had in a restaurant, honestly 10 out of 10, and the food was delicious as well. It was so good I actually came back for seconds just a few days later and had an entirely different meal. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today for the Mini Chef Experience restaurant at the Lego House. I'm really looking forward to seeing you guys here in the next video.